Heart beats calling my name. I hear the sound of the sirens breaking the chains. All I know, I need you. Not uh, out drowning again, caught in the rip, and it's pulling me in. Won't let go. As the Salvation Army, we were based on the soup, soap and salvation, and the same thing applies today. We make food parcels here each week, and we do between 120 to 150 food parcels out of our Royal Oak branch. We particularly love having tinned food that is non-perishable, which is like tinned tomatoes, baked beans, spaghetti, pasta or rice. The other things we love getting are muesli bars, crackers and things that we can put in school lunches because parents are desperate for things in their children's school lunches. And we have freezers that we are able to put bread and any other frozen things in. It's a bonus for our clients but we know that we can't always rely on it because we don't always have it in stock but we are always grateful for that sort of thing. When a client or a um, company rings us up, we never say no when they offer us something because I feel that uh, they've given it to us and it's our responsibility to accept it and then move it on to the appropriate places. So we never turn down any corporate who offers us goods. Countdown's food rescue program partners nationally with the Salvation Army, where we have over 130 stores signed up to donate products we couldn't otherwise use. These are the types of food parcels that we donate to the Salvation Army nearly every day. They come from both in-store products and donations from customers uh, in the food rescue bin. It's great that the Countdown Food Rescue Program can help many Kiwi families in need. A lot of families, they come, and they would have had to go through a budget, through our budget service, and um, then they all have a budget sheet to save actually in the red. I had a client that needed to pay a bill off for over three weeks so we were able to help that client for three weeks and, and, and just regarding giving them a food parcel just to help them up. I like working here because Salvation Army helped me when my children were little and I wouldn't be anywhere else and I like seeing their faces because they look so surprised when you give them the parcels. They always say, thank you, thank you very much, very much. It's like, yeah, okay, it's all right. Certain times of the year we struggle more than others. So February to sort of April are hard times for us. And then again about sort of October to November are quite difficult. Christmas is one of our main times of the year where we um, help about 900 families. And so we start um, storing food earlier in the year and it's a really good time that we get other um, donors on board. Heaps of families help us and it's an absolutely fantastic time. That's when we give treats out like lollies, chocolates and things like that. But after Christmas is actually one of the harder times because families have school uniforms, school fees, school camps and all sorts of things going on and Christmas has been really expensive for them. So our food bank supplies go down. A lot of the time our shelves are very empty and so we are just getting by. The Salvation Army has been providing New Zealanders with food for over 130 years and nothing much has changed. In 2014 we're finding there has been huge demand so far and that's probably going to get even more drastic as winter is coming and the uh, incredible pressure on families with power bills and electricity, gas, um, so we'll be seeing a huge demand for our food parcels. We have people that come in and we meet them where their first need is, which is food. And so we believe that they come in with that need and we can greet them and warmly and then give them the food, but we help them in so many other ways. And it is a lovely thing to see families grow and come back and build a relationship with our staff and our volunteers and actually develop and transform their lives. So we do make a difference in people's lives. So thank you and we are very, very grateful. You see me marching next to you